yesterday, well, even the day before that, I started taking down all the Christmas stuff. I usually leave it up till like January 1st or 2nd, but I don't know, maybe because the girls put it up early, <laughs> I just felt like I want my house back, like clear it all out. Some of it, I just kind of pulled all the really Christmassy stuff out of and left it for winter time decorations. I kind of moved things around a little bit. Right now, I'm just thinking about New Year's Eve a little bit. Anyways, um, thinking of New Year's Eve, one of my daughters, Nicole, has been asking for um, cheese ball kind of thing, and we're vegan, plant-based. So I'm going to get cashews and almonds. I think I'm gonna make two different kinds. Um, I think I'll make like a jalapeno, cheddar-y kind of one I found a recipe for and then just kind of a mellow, milder herb one. So I'm gonna to go to Sprouts um, to get the cashews and almonds and either get potatoes there or go right next door. There's an Aldi right next door to the Sprouts. Um, also at the Sprouts, oh man, I meant not to get on the turnpike, ugh. Not paying attention. Oh, uh, anyway, I can take the back road on the way home. <laughs> uh, anyway, I also have to get some miso at Sprouts. Oh man, on a side note, I took my husband. He came in. He'd been driving all morning. He drives Uber and left. He came in and he's like, "Are you busy?" And I just started to heat some heat some water on the stove to make some mac and cheese. And I'm like, I can just shut that off. Can I go with you? I didn't even know where we were going. He's like, yeah, can you drive? I'm like, sure. So he directs me to this um, family drug store, pharmacy, little place that we'd never been to before. I, apparently he had looked up and the only place in town like the Tulsa area he's like you guys should advertise these because you're the only place that has them puke bags because he doesn't want all the New Year's Eve well this whole weekend is gonna be nuts so because it just lands on the weekend but he doesn't want all these people puking in his nice car which I don't blame him but I couldn't believe how much these things were they're like a dollar sixty a piece or I don't know he got a pack and I don't remember how many were in it it's like 35 bucks for puke bags wow people you're expensive um I would have handed him a ziploc bag personally but he likes to be professional I guess <laughs> oh he works so hard doing this and that and everything um, earning funds for this life of ours I appreciate him so much um, so I'll be back hope you're having a good day I did some potatoes that got roasted and just a couple sweet potatoes. I got red potatoes. I got my cashews, almonds, and some sliced almonds just because they're cheaper. I might roll one of the cheese balls in that. I found these on sale for 79 cents a bag. So I got two of the black pepper and two of the lightly salted, just good little snack, and a couple extra firm tofu, which we use for all kinds of stuff, and the white miso for a bunch of stuff too. But yeah, cheese balls coming up. I just remembered this um, magnet thing was here that my husband put on there for me. Thank you. My son gave me his old one, but I needed a new tape, so. Steve fixed it up for me. We got this in the way, but I don't know. 
Just on another side note, in Sprouts, um, this lady came to the counter and they were checking out and all of a sudden the cashier was like, oh. <laughs> she had this pack of chicken that apparently was really smelly, gross. And I was like, Ugh. So this poor cashier was like, squirting. First she squirted um, hand sanitizer on her hands. <laughs> And <laughs> rubbing that and just kind of like gagging. Um, and then she, <laughs> oh, got some other disinfectant wipes and wiped down her counter area. And they just kept talking about it and talking about it and how gross it was and everything. <laughs> I'm thinking, eat plants. Yeah. Plants don't. Um, Plants cannot carry those same kind of E. coli kind of stuff that develops in animal products. I mean, the only way plants can have it on it is if some doesn't wash their hands after using the bathroom or and then they're handling the produce, picking it and stuff. But I mean, plants can't, they don't produce, they don't come up with those really nasty viruses and bacteria like that all on their own like um, animal products can so. so I got what I need the cashews and almonds and miso and I found potatoes so we will all survive Do you have some to say? There's a gluten free cheesy mac. It's all cold now, but I don't know. Even the dog eats it. And they decided to eat in the middle of the afternoon. <laughs> and there's all the veggies. Here's the beggars. Make sure you're not giving them onions and mushrooms, though. <laughs> okay, one last one, Buster. Buster was eating cucumbers and carrots earlier. I put a tiny little piece of broccoli in his mouth and he started chewing and then he just stopped and looked at me <laughs> and spit it out. <laughs> oh, hi, Theo. Doing a little laundry. Um, quite a lot, actually. There's something in the dryer. I thought I would work on cleaning out this bird feeder. It's been hanging outside forever, but there's some gunky old bird seed in the bottom that has gotten wet and I see little dead sprouts. I guess I have to take the whole thing apart or something, or I don't know, I have to figure this out. Got it open, it just had these little clippy things at the bottom and then a hinge at the top, wow. So they knew you're gonna have to clean it out. That's cool. I think I have some bird seed in here, hopefully. Yeah, cool. All right, we're in business. Okie dokie. All right, that should work for a while. <clears throat> Get my lid back on. If I hang it farther over this way, well, actually, the reason I had it over there is so I could see it from the dining room window. I guess we'll try it again. Much better. But look at this gunk. Blah. Still not dry. Come on.
thought I'd take my pups for a walk finally. We haven't been out here forever. It's actually been pretty cold. It snowed a couple days and just rainy, drippy, cold, yuck. So they were really excited to get out here. Of course, they're excited even if you go every day. <laughs> they go so bizarro, you can't even get their leashes on. But it's a gorgeous day. Of course, it's a little chilly. It's the end of December, but it's gorgeous. Look at that blue sky. Really? I twist their leashes together so they can't tangle me up. <laughs> Otherwise, they kind of tend to split apart, go two different ways. Back around my legs. Yes, I'm wearing flip flops. But hey, I've got leg warmers on. I can feel my Christmas cookies and candy jiggling around. <laughs> oh man. <sighs> oh my goodness. Wow, look at this. I'm just turning the corner and one, two, three, four emergency vehicles. Huh. Wow. Hopefully everyone's okay. My husband's a firefighter up in Minnesota. So he'd be very familiar with this scene. I don't know, there's a bunch of firefighters in somebody's garage up there coming out of the house. I don't know what's all happening. Pups are being good, not barking. Well, that is about it for my afternoon. Hope you guys had a good one. Um, I'm just going to be making those pizzas. I think we'll do regular pizzas tonight and then on New Year's Eve maybe do personal tortilla pizzas. Just have toppings ready and let people put them together however they like them throw them in the oven, even throw them in the toaster oven, get a whole bunch of them going <laughs> if we need to. Um, I'll have to get some gluten-free tortillas and probably some regular ones. We have some, but the regular ones tend to go fast sometimes, so I better grab a pack. And probably extra peppers and mushrooms, because I'll be using some of those tonight. Um, if you're curious to see how we do vegan or plant-based pizzas, um, there's another whole video down there a ways. <laughs> I showed how to um, make the cashew cream that goes on top in lieu of cheese. Um, sometimes we use the other cheesy recipes, um, especially if we're making like little tortilla pizzas or something. But that video is down below. I show how to make the pepperoni, just all kinds of stuff. We made three different kinds of pizza on that video. And the crust, the regular crust and everything. So if you are interested in trying a plant-based pizza, you can check that video out. Um, otherwise, I think I'm gonna call my mom and see how she's doing after Christmas and um, this week. And that's about it for my afternoon. Have fun, guys.